Good day guys. This is a MindLab SD2100. I modified this for a fellow back in about 2010 and he had it for a number of years and I think uh, he, he said um, it failed or something and this is in 2017. So seven years later, excuse my voice, it's still recovering from my dose of ABS. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Damn, it's going to go croaky. I can feel it. But uh, in here, this is the worst part of doing... Oh, this thing's been completely... I had to rebuild it. I don't know if you can even... You can't see, but um, there's chips you can't get anymore. Like um, uh, 271. A dip package. I had to make a converter board and uh, find a SOIC package and put it in there. I had to rebuild the power supply, um, uh, replace the front end. <clears throat> oh dear me, wish I could replace my voice. But yeah, I had to do a lot of work on this. Anyway, um, he sent it in uh, for warranty repair after seven years. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> And uh, I said, I, I got to wait for parts. And uh, yeah, anyway, story goes, he um, rang up and he was uh, carrying on like a pork chop. And uh, I said, uh, I put a whole day's work into rebuilding his seven year old warranty repair. So you, you can imagine a few choice words I've been saying. Um, but uh, the worst thing is, is putting that MOSFET in this is, this is the worst design ever here. The only way you're going to get the nut in there on the end of that screw, you think you can hold it with a pair of tweezers? Think again. It'll twist sideways and you'll be stuffed. You can't do it. Um, you'll be there for like an hour trying to do it. You've got to get your nut and you have to solder a piece of wire to it so you can manoeuvre it. And have a look where the screw is. It's a flat blade screw down there. And it's down. And how are you going to get a straight run at that? Uh, I haven't got any screwdrivers that small. And I'll probably, if it was a dual screwdriver, I wouldn't even be able to hold it straight. So you've got to manoeuvre it in a way that you can hold the nut. Uh, you've got to make sure that the screw doesn't fall out and drop the plastic. And on the back of that as well, there is a insulator, um, which is also difficult to put in. And uh, yeah, it's actually the, one of the worst things to do uh, is put that uh, device in the heat sink it, screw it down to the, the metal work there. It is really, really difficult. <laughs> so, you know, this, there must have been a better way of doing it. You know, like, um, like on the later ones, they're going to block there and they're all threaded. So you thread into the block. And even that's a pain because sometimes it cross threads because you can't get a straight run onto the block. Maybe uh, it would have been a better idea to have a L bracket and turn that MOSFET 90 degrees into a threaded piece of metal. Uh, that would have worked a lot better, but um, that is what we ended up with actually if you put an L bracket in there you'd have to screw that as well and probably be near impossible so that's um the dilemma with these old detectors is trying to get that nut on the end of the screw holding the white insulator uh, keeping um, that wire which goes onto a terminal lug from pulling the screw out and everything falls down and also having the insulator on the back of the transistor and uh, MOSFET and uh, keeping it all steady and stable. But I'll see how I go putting this back together. It has been one of the biggest pains. Uh, sometimes you can do it and it, you can do it in like a minute. Other times I've been doing these and you're there half an hour later cursing and swearing because you just can't get the nut on. It'll cross thread, it'll fall down. You gotta pull the front of the detector off or tip it upside down to get the nut out. And then everything falls off, start again. It's really painful. So it may not sound like much, but uh, it is. I'm gonna try and do it. I don't know if this is only on a small handheld thing 
here. So don't even know how to undo that. Oh, do you mean? You, do I pu you push it sideways or something, don't you? Nah, I don't know. This thing does do something. Hang on. Oh no, you gotta do that, okay. Here we go. But it won't be high enough. <laughs> so, I don't know, I'll stick it there like that. I'll try and get this thing in, best I can. And uh, if you hear me curse and swear, you'll know why. So, and you gotta hold this around the right way because there's no clearance in this part here. So, it, trying to get this into the flat blade slot and hold that there. Go on, go in please. So it just will not take the slightest angle wrong and it won't take come on so I say it's a pain it is a pain okay that's level in you go beauty it's on so we've had that little bit of wire you can see stuck in there you'll be there for a long time it's just really really tedious and horrible um, to get that on but what I do for the next next poor person that ever comes across this detector um, I leave that wire on and I just poke it down in the slot and uh, people will go, oh, what's that for? And I think they will soon realise that it is a necessity. Yeah, and then the, everything wants to twist around. Get back down. Yeah, down. Down. And now I've got to pull the insulator up. Actually, I have to loosen it off a smidgen to do this. Come on. Yep, right round. There we go. And now I've got to tighten it again. Holding. Oh, that's going round again. Like I say, this, this. I'll say this. Whoever, whoever devised this setup, in my opinion, is a moron. I don't care. I don't think I've ever had worse on anything. Beauty, it's in. So I feel sorry for the people who had to try and put it in there. We get a bit of wire and we just bend it down there. So it's there, it can't hurt anything. And then we're gonna do the most important thing of all. We're gonna put the multimeter on and test it to make sure that there's no shorts onto the flange. That's me testing it and it's all good. So that is, yeah, like I say, these are old mods. This is really, really ancient. Um, yeah. Normal and bright audio, three pulse or four pulse um, on the short pulses, medium, small and deep. And this one actually has variable gain in it. So, let's spin it around. These are good detectors, actually. Even though it's, uh, I don't know where my camera's pointed because I can't see. But, uh, can I bend that down? Probably a little bit. I don't know. This, um, oh, you got to push that button. To push the button. No, no, you don't. Yes, you do. No, you don't. Oh, that, that's as far as it goes. Okay, I'm not putting the back on just yet because if you put the back on before you test it, you jinx it. It won't work. <laughs> okay, we'll stick that in there. We'll give it uh, some volts. 
and we'll turn on the audio amplifier over there and we'll see if this thing works. There's all the obnoxious noises it makes. So, just test the... I got on a cancel coil, by the way. Okay, it works on big targets. And we'll just test it on small targets. I'm gonna find my... Okay, we'll see what settings we're on for a start. To be on... Uh, put on three pulse. Um, Yep, on small gold, try 0 0.05. So, this detector will pick up the 0 0.05 on, even, this was modified years ago, but that's how big the coil is up there, it's pretty big. 0 0.05. If I get near the winding, it's loud as, but point one. Nothing wrong with this. Nothing wrong with it whatsoever. Uh, it goes really well. The only thing you got to check, <clears throat> the voice is going again, is the manual ground balance. I'll see if I can just put this thing somewhere. Um, there's no, look, I'm trying to put it there. There's no flat surfaces in this whole place, believe me. I don't want that to metal. I'll try and stick it there, point this up again. I can't really see what I'm doing. That should be right. Get a Kalgoorlie hot rock. I'll put this thing in um, channel two. Gone past a sweet point. I went past a sweet point. I was spinning the uh, control too fast. Jesus Christ. <clears throat> I'm starting to sound like Bobby Kennedy. Uh, anyway, let's put it in channel one. Channel one, and we'll see if it ground balances. Beautiful. So, these older detectors uh, can be, well, like I said with this one, I put a whole new front end in it because it needed it. I've redone the power supply. It needed it. And I've cleaned up the uh, variable gain. And yeah, it's working really well. So you can set these up for big gold, small gold. It's just as sensitive as the new ones. My God. Um, it's very, very sensitive. Uh, especially on that cancel coil. That's, that's not a small coil. That's fairly big. And you've got to remember too, because it's uh, flipped over in a figure eight, you're losing half your transmit energy in the uh, far side of the uh, coil. Like, I've obviously got, oh, damn, I've got a ring on. What I normally do is I don't have a ring on, because you know what happens, don't you? Um, but here, you know, we got, we're doing our target test in here, but this here is radiating half the uh, transmit pulse and receiving um, nothing. And we're just doing it on one half. So we're actually about running 50% efficiency doing that. So that's what you've got to realise um, running figure eights. You you have uh, wasted energy in the far side. But if, you, if you've got a lot of noise issues, uh, there is a benefit. Uh, so, you know, you can't hit your target if you've got a lot of noise, especially EMI in that. So you've got to flip it. And, uh, yeah. 
but in in low frequency mode for big one it uh, still works extremely well on big deep targets you know you can get stuff down um, meters uh, and you know in the multiple f uh, feet range <clears throat> dear mate anyway I'm gonna rest my voice a bit because it, it will it'll completely croak up and uh, yeah, here we go. So that's um, that is working. So I, I take it the guy who owns this will probably see this video, and uh, hopefully he puts a smile on his face. Because uh, uh, yeah, it's um, been a long transition to get this thing up and running again. Uh, I'm trying to get hold of thirty-year-old parts. Uh, is very, very difficult. But, like I said, I had to make adapter boards up and things. But anyway, I fixed it, it's going, and uh, he will get it back. <clears throat> so, yeah, that's that, catches.